The Fairy Firefly was a two-seat fighter and reconnaissance aircraft used by the British during World War II. The Firefly was deployed by the Royal Navy, providing air support for ships at sea. The Firefly was one in a series of planes that had fulfilled a similar role for British naval forces. Beginning in 1926 the Fleet Air Arm first commissioned a fast two-seat fighter to act as a reconnaissance plane. The Firefly entered service during World War II. ITS first flight took place on December 22, 1941, just after the Japanese had attacked Pearl Harbor, bringing America into the war. Its first flights, therefore, were at a time of change and escalating conflict. The Firefly soon proved its worth as a plane. From July 1943, it was the Royal Navy's primary carrier-borne fighter. It was the first time the British Royal Navy had made significant use of aircraft carriers, making the Firefly an important plane. The first major action in which Fireflies took part was a series of attacks against the Tirpitz in July 1944. The Tirpitz and its sister ship the Bismarck were the most powerful battleships in the German fleet. They were a source of fear and an important target for Allied fleets serving off the coast of Europe. On January 2, 1945, a Firefly scored a kill in an aerial combat for the first time. It took place during a dogfight over Sumatra as part of an attack on oil refineries there. A Firefly from No.1770 Squadron shot down a Japanese Oscar fighter. During the weeks following Japan's surrender, thousands of Allied prisoners remained trapped in severe conditions in the Japanese prisoner of war camps. Fireflies of the Fleet Air Arm dropped supplies to POWs in camps in mainland Japan. Fireflies were involved in British forces action during subsequent wars. They served in Korea, which was the first time jet versus jet combat was used in war, and which heralded the end of planes like the Firefly. They also carried out ground attacks during the British intervention in Malaya in 1954. The Netherlands Air Force also used Fireflies, AS-4s in Indonesia in 1962. The Firefly was equipped with the Rolls-Royce 1,990-horsepower Griffin Shi engine. It was a step up from the Merlin engine which its predecessor, the Ferry Falmer had. With a maximum speed of 416 miles per hour, it added an extra 40 miles per hour to the speed of Britain's shipboard fighters. However, it was slow in comparison with other fighter planes taking to the skies around the same time.
the Firefly handled well at low speeds. With limited space on board aircraft carrier decks to take off and land on, it was important the plane operated well at relatively low speeds. The Fulmer was equipped with eight machine guns, letting it put a large volume of firepower into the air. On the Firefly, they were replaced with four 20mm cannons. The move to cannons was in line with changes made by the majority of air forces in World War II. Most planes had metal fuselages, making them tougher than the aircraft of earlier eras. Explosive shells fired from cannons were far more likely to do damage to those planes than machine guns could. A new development in fuel tanks also played a part. The Germans had created a self sealing fuel tank, coated in layers of vulcanized and non vulcanized rubber. If a tank was punctured, the leaking fuel caused the non vulcanized rubber to expand, sealing the gap. As a result, just putting holes in the tank was not enough to send a plane up in flames. If a shell hit the fuel tank and exploded, no amount of expanding rubber could save the aircraft. The first attempt to create a night fighting version of the Firefly was the NF2 model. It was given recently developed airborne radar with which to target enemy planes in the dark. The weight of the equipment changed the Firefly's center of gravity. To counter it, the fuselage in the N. F2 was lengthened by 18 inches. Changes in the way the radar was mounted meant the N. F2 was not produced in large numbers. Instead, a different night fighting Firefly was developed repositioning the radar, the F. R1.1 of the most important signs that could give away a night fighter in the darkness was the glow from the engine exhaust. To counter it, all Firefly night fighters were equipped with exhaust dampers. The first Fireflies had their radiators mounted underneath the engine. It was changed in later models, when the radiators were moved into the wings, altering the appearance of the plane. The Firefly had a wingspan of 44 feet 6 inches. To fit inside an aircraft carrier, the wings were folded back leaving a wingspan of only 13 feet 3 inches. The fuel capacity of the Firefly gave it a range of 1,300 miles, enabling it to carry out reconnaissance over a wide area around its carrier base. The Firefly could climb 15,000 feet in just under 10 minutes. It could fly at heights of up to 28,000 feet, 